To study the chromosomes, a genetic test is carried out. This test is called karyotype, and it represents the entire chromosomal makeup of an individual. To perform a karyotype, cells that divide often are needed. Because lymphocytes divide readily and are easy to obtain from blood, these cells are frequently used for karyotyping. Heparin, an anti-clotting agent, is added to this blood sample, which is then put into a centrifuge. The blood sample is then spun in the centrifuge, thus separating out the various blood cell types. Once separated, these lymphocytes are placed on a growth culture and encouraged to divide, undergo mitosis. Because dividing cells show off their chromosomes best at the midstage of cell division, called metaphase, a drug, named as colchicine, is added to the dividing cells to halt mitosis. These lymphocytes, with their cell division halted, are taken from the culture and treated with a hypotonic solution that causes them to swell. This swelling untangles the metaphase chromosomes, pushing them apart. The puffed-up cells are placed on a slide, stained with a dye called Gimsa dye, and then viewed under microscope. A photograph of the slide is taken and enlarged for final matching up the chromosomes. In final step, computer is used to pair up matching chromosomes. A child with Down syndrome will have a karyotype with either three chromosome 21s or a translocated 21. If the child has mosaic Down syndrome, some cells will have the normal 46 chromosomes, while other will have 47 with three 21s.